Here we are. It is March 5th, 2022, and it is the first day that we are actually doing a real drive in that car. So the last time I actually started and drove this car was December 29th, 2021. That was the day that I officially got the engine back up into the car and running, and I took it on a 10 mile test drive that day. Um, but today is actually the first real driving that we're going to be doing with it, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me so that you guys can see how it goes. Cross my fingers that everything is good and nothing weird happens. So let's find out. Well, I sincerely hope that you guys can hear me all right. Uh, it is a little loud in here. As you know, the exhaust I have on this car is basically straight pipe. It comes straight out of the catalytic converters and does a 90 degree hook right out the back of the car. So it's fairly loud. Just started the car, started all right, uh, which is good. I mean absolutely nothing weird which is nice uh, at this time I'm just uh, kind of letting the engine warm up I'm gonna let the cats fire off I'm gonna let the coolant circulate uh, I'm gonna let the oil circulate we have good oil pressure we have no check engine lights so far so good continuing to cross our fingers that nothing weird happens uh, so I'm gonna let it warm up uh, I'm gonna check for any drips and then uh, which I didn't get any drips last time which was good drove it like I said for 10 miles and uh, nothing weird happened and there were no pools underneath of the car this is our first time driving it with brand new timing chain guides and so many other new parts uh, as you guys know that I replaced uh, along the way gaskets seals tubes hoses air oil separator um, timing chain guides obviously I replaced the oil pickup or return tubes um, to the 997 spec. All right, here we go. Backing out of the garage. Look at that. It's out in daylight. Sweet. All right, now a couple of quick things to note. Of course, the battery has been reset. Uh, I mean, it was disconnected the entire time that the engine was out. And anytime that happens, uh, you lose all the learning for your, like, your oxygen sensors. Um, that's kind of a big one. Your airflow meter which then needs to kind of reacclimate and recalibrate itself. They kind of have to get in sync with one another so that they can tell the engine how rich or lean to make the mixture. In the meantime, while it's not correctly 100% learned, uh, that means that especially at idle, there's kind of some like rough fish idle condition. It'll kind of do this hunting thing. And what truly learns it is doing some completely off throttle, um, basically where it's in fuel cut so that I can know like exactly what only air going through the cylinders reads like in the oxygen sensors and also a couple wide open throttle pulls as well so that it can know while it's enriching to protect the cats etc uh, or you know while it's just commanding certain air fuel ratios it knows it can kind of get a get a better feedback for that so basically just driving is what makes it learn Anyway, so far so good. The car is driving really well. Only thing that's kind of wrong that I can notice so far is there's some flat spots on the tires. That's to be expected. The car has literally been sitting for two months, over two months. Once we uh, get a little bit more heat in the coolant and in the oil, uh, we can uh, maybe have a little bit of fun with this thing. Oh, I miss this car so much. Oh boy, did I miss this car. I'm still taking it very easy on the car, by the way. Kind of assuming that everything should probably break in a little bit, and obviously it's still it's still not up to temperature completely, so. Uh, I've kind of explained this in some past videos, but, uh, you know, I, I had my Cayman S before this, and while that is a fantastic car in every in every way, it just doesn't it doesn't have all of the soul of this car. And I don't know what it is about it. It just it's not it's not soulless at all. It's a great car. It's a fantastic car. But it doesn't have the soul of this one. And it's something about the way this car handles, something about what, the way it behaves. It just and it's a little bit more athletic and smaller. This car is smaller feeling. 
And I think that's what kind of gets lost in a lot of what a lot of people talk about with the newer 911s. They're so big, and people always say that. And now, granted, I've never driven a, actually that's not true, I've driven a 991. Uh, I've never driven a 992. Um, but you know, people always say it's big. It It's a big car. Please don't mind my very squeaky race brake pads. And um, because it's a big car, you kind of lose that like athleticism feeling. This is such a this is such a all around athletic vehicle, and it just feels like you can just toss it and do anything with it uh, because it's just so nimble and the front end just hooks up and.